All right, now, this is really starting to bother me. This continues to happen every single time that Nintendo shows off a new product. You got people out there that's, they scramble and scramble searching the internet to prove that Nintendo copied this such person or this such company. And it's very annoying. It seems like Nintendo is the only uh, company that people seem to like to do this to. You know, it's always just some random guy like in his basement or some little company nobody's ever heard of. Now, when Sony or Microsoft copy Nintendo, like everybody knows they copy. But when Nintendo comes out with something that people always take it upon themselves to do all this super duper research to find old oh, Nintendo copied such and such or they had the same idea years ago blah 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 why does it even matter the fanboys and and Sony and Microsoft think that's just so important they always say every time Nintendo comes out with something oh well we actually had this idea long ago like what if Nintendo did that what if Nintendo did that what if every time Sony or Microsoft came out with something Nintendo was like, oh, well, we actually had that idea first, so blah, blah, blah. What if Nintendo said, oh, it was, you guys copied us. We had an idea for an HD home console first. Or we had an idea for, we had online first. What if they said that? And I know some of you guys scratching your head like, well, they couldn't say that. That's why. Oh, really? I'll show you guys something. This is a very, very, very old copy of EGM. And you know it's old because it has Batman Forever on the cover. And it also has first picks of Nintendo's Ultra 64. This is from July 1995. So I guess probably some of you probably weren't even born yet. But yeah, so I'm showing my age here. Anyway, hmm. Oh, looks like we have uh, some stuff on the Ultra 64 and the Ultra 64 specs. Let's see what the Ultra 64 specs say. Hmm. So it's going to be a 60, a true 64-bit uh, processor. Hmm. Now this is where it gets interesting. It will have an enhanced mode and will have a resolution of 1200 by 1200 or HD TV, HD TV standard in 24 bit color. That's all the way back in 1995. Looks like Sony and Microsoft copied Nintendo because they apparently they already had plans for a HD system. So they copied. Wow, the nerve of them. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this, look, right next to it, x Van. Now, if you're not my age or higher, you probably don't, or older, you probably don't remember x Van. But x Van is pretty much Xbox Live for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. You had to pay a, a, a monthly service, um, the same as Xbox Live. Xbox Live, x Van. Xbox. Wow, did they even copy the name too? Good lord, people. Moral of the story is saying people copied who and arguing over that is pretty retarded, especially when it comes to Nintendo. Just stop.